Hello, my name is Wayne Godso from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This tech tip will cover the steps to configure port lock on the Avaya VSP9000 system. By default, port lock is disabled on the VSP9000. Enabling port lock on the system allows you to lock down any interface on the system. The port lock feature prevents any configuration changes to the interface when the lock is enabled. The port lock feature must be enabled globally before a specific interface can be locked. The user will receive a warning when trying to configure a locked interface. The interface must be unlocked before any new configuration changes can occur on the system. In our tech tip example, we'll log into the system with read-write-all privileges using the RWA user account and RWA password. We'll enter terminal configuration mode by entering enable followed by the conf t command. We'll enable port lock globally on the system using the port lock enable command. Next we'll configure port lock on a specific Ethernet interface. In our example, we'll be locking slot 4 port 1. Next we'll save the current port lock configuration using the save config command. We'll verify that Ethernet interface slot 4 port 1 is now locked using the show interface command. We'll test the lock on slot 4 port 1 and view the system error message when we attempt to configure the interface. Next we'll disable the lock on the Ethernet interface using the no lock enable command. And finally we'll save the current configuration changes again with the save config command. In our example, we'll log into the console with the read-write-all user account and read-write-all password. We'll enter enable, followed by the conf t command to enter terminal configuration mode. Now we'll enable port lock globally on the system using the port lock enable command. Next we'll configure port lock on slot 4 port 1 by first accessing the interface configuration and then using the lock enable command. Now let's save the current port lock configuration using the save config command. Now we'll verify that Ethernet interface slot 4 port 1 is now locked using the show interface command. We can see from the output that the port is now locked. Now let's test the lock on slot 4 port 1 by attempting to enable auto negotiate on the interface. As we can see from the error message, the port is locked and will not allow configuration changes. Next we'll disable the lock on the Ethernet interface using the no lock enable command. The system will now allow config changes on the interface. Finally we'll save the current configuration changes again with the save config command. As you can see, configuring port lock on the Avaya VSP9000 is a quick and easy process. The port lock feature is a useful tool to lock down your configuration settings on a specific interface and prevent unwanted changes on your system. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at AvayaMentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.